Member 8, Shane Arden. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Biosecurity. What recent announcement has he made on improving New Zealand's biosecurity protection? The Hon. David Carter. Mr Speaker, yesterday I was pleased to launch Farms Online, New Zealand's first comprehensive database of rural properties for use in biosecurity responses. The $8.4 million of funding allocated to develop Farms Online demonstrates government's serious commitment to biosecurity readiness. This initiative will significantly improve MAF's ability to rapidly respond to a biosecurity emergency. The Waiheke foot and mouth scare clearly demonstrated the need for this type of information to be quickly available. Farms Online now delivers that need. Shane Arden. Supplementary to the Minister of Biosecurity. What is the role of Farms Online? Now listen up, Mr Jones. The Hon. David Carter. Mr Speaker, Farms Online for the first time gives MAF a comprehensive online database of rural properties, enabling instant access to information such as farm location, ownership and land use. I encourage all farmers and lifestyle block owners to go online and to see what additional information they can provide to the database. The more information that MAP has, the better it will be able to respond to a biosecurity incursion. The Hon. Damien O'Connor. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister. How can the public or the pork industry have any confidence in the Minister's management of biosecurity threats when his Ministry of Agriculture has decided to allow imports of uncooked pig meat from countries where the pig disease, porcine reproductive and respiratory syndrome is endemic, when industry has produced rigorous scientifically based risk assessment which contradicts Matt's decision that any risk is low. The Honourable David Carter. Mr Speaker, the issue referred to by the member is a decision made by the Director General. In making the decision, I understand that it was his opinion that the level of risk was so low that an import ban could not be justified on the scientific grounds. Mr Speaker, my office has informed me that a judicial review is very likely on this matter. I therefore do not think it is appropriate for me to comment further. Question number nine, Brendan Burns.